on this weekend, uh, we tend to say Happy Memorial Day as we greet each other, yet I consider that somewhat of an oxymoron. The holiday we celebrate today should be somber and hollowed, appropriate to pay hom homage and honor to the soldiers, the men and women who did not come home, serving our nation. Yes, the weekend is meant to celebrate with family and friends, with cookouts and parades and fireworks and watching war movies on TV. And thus, it's too easy to forget the reason that we're celebrating today. If some of us don't have a loved one in the armed forces, it's difficult to imagine someone you love serving in a foreign land, lonely in constant danger, which makes it all too easy to become absorbed in the weekend fund. If you do have someone currently serving in Iraq or Afghanistan or anywhere in the world on this Memorial Day, you no doubt feel the anxiety and constant stress about his or her safety. You very much love your son or daughter, brother or sister, nephew, niece, or grandson who heroically answered our country's call. Because we don't have a draft in the armed services today, everyone in uniform serving our country represents about only 1% of our country's population. Yet know this well. Our men and women in uniform not only love the country they serve and the uniform they wear, they love each other. There is an unspoken inherent bond which binds our soldiers, Marines, sailors, and airmen together, especially in combat. This love for each other keeps them alive, alert, and focused on their mission. Esprit de corps, unit morale, duty, honor, country. Words fail to adequately express the love that keeps our sons and daughters motivated to perform their difficult tasks, risking their lives for their fellow soldiers, their country, and us. The love our combat heroes share on the field of battle knows no bounds and extends to veterans and their families for those fortunate enough to return home. It is our obligation on this Memorial Day to honor those who did not come home say a prayer for their lives, their families, and be thankful for the sacrifice they have made on our behalf. They richly deserve our love. Throughout our history, too many lives of this nation's finest have been cut short and lost to war. It is disheartening that in the year 2018, when this planet could be sending explorers into space, finding a cure for cancer, or feeding the world's hunger, we are faced with terrorism. Evil forces bent on destruction, exporting terror around the globe. For this reason, we still call upon our youth to serve and place themselves in harm's way. These brave women and men keep coming forward, willingly, intentionally, bravely, answering the call to serve and sacrifice. Thus the memo, all gave some, some gave all. Look around you here today. We see veterans from past wars, members of the armed forces who are still on active duty, and family members and friends of those who are now serving our country. We are all united by our respect, pride, and love for our servicemen and women. No matter how steep the sacrifice, how foreign the land, how deep the fear, how ruthless the enemy, the women and men in our armed forces keep coming forward to valiantly face the danger in which this country has placed them. God willing, the day will come when we don't have to ask our young citizens to sacrifice anymore. Until then, as the parades roll down the street and the barbecues inhabit our lawns, let us always remain focused on why we enjoy these freedoms and let us honor and never forget those who came home in a coffin draped with the American flag. This is the reason we celebrate Memorial Day. Our fallen soldiers are heroes beyond measure, and they now rest in God's hand in peace. In 2002, Mel Gibson starred in the movie We Were Soldiers, based on the book We Were Soldiers Once and Young, written by U.S. Army Colonel Hal Moore and reporter and author Joe Galloway. The movie portrayed the true story of the first battle between the U.S. Army and North Vietnamese forces in November of 1965 in the Ai Drang Valley in Vietnam, a three-day battle in which 88 American soldiers lost their lives. Hal Moore led the battle 
and Joe Galloway was there to document it. During the credits at the end of the movie, the United States Military Academy Glee Club sings a song and called, entitled Mansions of the Lord, and the lyrics appropriately and somberly set the tone for our Memorial Day service today. They read, to fallen soldiers let us sing, where no rockets fly nor bullets wing, our broken brothers let us bring to the mansions of our Lord. No more bleeding, no more fight, no prayers pleading through the night, just a divine embrace, eternal light in the mansions of the Lord. Where no mothers cry and no children weep, we stand tall and guard, though the angels sleep, through the ages safely keep the mansions of the Lord. Allow us today to pay honor to the men and women who now reside in the Lord's mansion, free from pain, loneliness, and fear. May they always have our respect, remembrance, reverence, and love. God bless their souls, their families, and God bless America. Thank you.